daydream for the positive daydreaming people report the same happiness rating between current tasks and pleasant things they are more likely to daydream about since daydreaming is disruptive in external tasks and its potential benefits are quite private and subtle it is worth discussing the reason why daydreaming exists and occupies a large amount of people's waking time according to research Daydreaming and social cognition have strong overlapping similarities when activated portions of the brain are observed. These findings indicate that daydreaming is an extension of the brain's experience of social cognition. According to several studies, daydreaming appears to be the brain's default setting when no other external task is occupying its attention. These areas of the brain light up in sequence only while daydreaming is commencing. Daydreaming is not the only form of ways in which the brain consumes energy due to thought. Three theories have been devised to explain the occurrences and reasons behind why people daydream. Psychologists Leonard Guyambra and George Huber used the IPI and found that daydreamers' imaginary images vary in three ways how vivid or enjoyable the daydreams are, how many guilt or fear filled daydreams they have, and how deeply into the daydream people go. S6538 to 4072.